What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick optimization guide, I'll show you how to get the best performance out of No More Room in Hell 2. This guide will obviously step over the game's glaring performance issues, server issues, and things like that. So if you're going to play it, how do you get the best experience? Well, let's go through it. First of all, the quality presets. There's a huge difference in performance between the highest and the lowest settings here. If you're going to be playing the game at native resolution without any upscaling, for me, at 2K, the FPS range between 60 and 27. So there's a huge, pretty much linear difference in FPS as you move down the quality preset scale with the biggest jump happening at low. However, if you're going to be playing this game in any capacity, and by default, upscaling will be set to quality or balanced based on your system, so DLSS, FSR, XESS, etc. Whenever you're using any of those, you can expect a good 20 to 50% performance increase depending on your quality preset. For me, my performance ranged between 74 FPS at low and 42 at ultra. So the performance is a little bit better here, but let's step through things granularly so you know exactly what to adjust. So starting from the most effective settings to change, besides the overall quality preset, you'll find the biggest difference in performance, shadow quality. Between shadow quality on ultra and low, I got 54 all the way up to 62 FPS, which is around a 10 to 12% FPS boost just by dropping this. I'd recommend shadow quality being set to medium as low completely turns off shadows. As you push it up between the steps, you'll see the shadows get noticeably blurrier and blurrier. Looking better, I suppose, I'd recommend leaving this on medium, probably at highest, as low turns off shadows completely. Then volumetrics quality, 6 to 7% FPS between ultra and low, so 64 to 68 FPS. And finally, most surprisingly, Bloom. All of the post-processing effects have practically no impact on your performance. Heck, motion blur is something that I didn't see at all in-game, enabled or disabled. Performance-wise, there's no difference as well. But with Bloom in particular, you can see a drop of about 5 to 7 FPS just by having this enabled. That's quite literally 5 to 6% of your performance lost just because of one super simple effect. Yeah, it's probably going to be the most noticeable effect when it comes to all of the post-processing things, but it has the biggest impact. And the scales pretty drastically when you play around with the effect quality. Effect quality, when Bloom is off, had almost no impact on performance with around 3-ish FPS difference between the highest being ultra and the lowest being low from 84 to 87 FPS. But when Bloom was enabled, playing with the effects quality option, I saw a huge difference of 15 FPS. That's the difference between 82 FPS and 67. So if you're going to be playing around in this game at all, I definitely recommend having Bloom off or at least having Bloom on and effects quality all the way down to the lowest possible setting. That way you'll see a good improvement in your performance. All of the other options had around a 1 to 2 FPS difference, so I can skip over them pretty quickly and you can have them set pretty much as you wish. Texture quality is a noticeable one. If you have it set too low, everything is unreadable. Medium and above, everything looks about the same. You can read the text on signs, posters, and things like that, so I'd recommend having this set to medium at lowest. Then reflections had no difference visually and performance-wise for any of the options that I chose, and shaders had the same. This is probably one of the harder ones to demonstrate. This, as well as a couple of other options like certain effects, may have more impact while there's action going on, like explosions, gunshots, etc., but I couldn't really find a big, noticeable enough performance difference. Then, finally, view distance is an interesting one. There's practically no performance difference between the options, but the pop-in when it's set to low is super noticeable whenever you're nearby things. On medium and above, it's definitely not as noticeable, if not completely hidden. I definitely recommend view distance being set to medium at lowest, otherwise you are going to be super distracted. Let's have a quick look at all of the options in-game. I'd say in options, under graphics, have your graphics preset set to pretty much whatever you want. I'd say probably medium here apply and the only things you want to change are all the way at the very bottom bloom turn this off by unticking it shadow quality i'd recommend leaving at medium at lowest otherwise you can drop this off for a 2 to 3 fps boost then volumetrics quality which is right over here fourth from the bottom i'd also recommend leaving this on medium if not low there's barely any difference visually between any of these options here with everything else left as is you can already enjoy a slightly improved feeling game then if you'd like to make the game look better completely for free check out the texture quality option make sure that's at least set to medium for things to be readable otherwise you can comfortably crank this all the way up to ultra if you have more than let's say six to seven gigabytes of vram on your graphics card if you have around four to five set this to very high or high 
If you have four gigs of VRAM, set this to medium, and anything below that, set this to low. I'll leave this all the way up on ultra for crispy textures, readable signs, etc. And that's pretty much all the optimization I can do here, as the rest of these options will only get us maybe one to two extra FPS if we drop them all the way down to the lowest settings. But just to make absolutely sure your system is set up properly on the display tab, after applying changes, have a look down at the sampling technique over here. DLSS is only available on newer NVIDIA graphics cards, otherwise you'll have access to FSR, XESS, and TSR, which I'd say everyone should stay away from. This is gonna make your game very blurry. So either FSR or DLSS. Have this set to anything but native deep learning or native upscaling, anti-aliasing, etc. So probably quality is good and balanced even better for FPS. That's it. With these super simple changes, you can make the game quite a bit more playable. That being said, if you're really struggling for FPS, just crank the game down to low. Obviously, there's not too much you can do at this point beyond this. There's no launch options and things like that. Performance is something that you're going to struggle with in this game, and that's pretty much that. So it's a little bit disappointing this game does really struggle for FPS, especially on even a high-end system. So hopefully the developers can improve things quite a bit. It is day one, early access release. And of course, in the future, if things are improved, I'll make sure to cover this game somewhat again with hopefully better news. Anyways, that's it. It's a bit of a disappointing optimization guide, but you got the information you needed super quickly. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.